Hi, it's me, Kathy. Today I'm recording my Sunday video. A couple of days ago, I had a little bit of a dip in, in, into my depression and it, it kind of rocked my world. Um, this round of depression felt like I was very weepy. Everything set me off and ridiculous things small things, non things coming into a room. I also had this lump here. Let me show you like right here in my sternum. It felt really heavy, like something was trapped there. And I'm, I'm guessing what was trapped there was, was depression, sadness, <sighs> that heavy feeling. And I had no desire to move at all. I, I just like literally laid on a couch at one point on my side if I never got up again, I was okay with that. And so what I want to share with you today is the three things that I did this time when I dip into depression. These are the, these are the, I, I thought about it for a while later. Like, how did I get out of that and, and get moving? So first I acknowledged to myself that I was feeling like that. Sometimes I try to pretend that that's not happening or I can push through it. And instead, I acknowledged that I was having those feelings of depression, that heaviness, the sadness. It was happening. And then I shared it with somebody else. I let them know what I was feeling and what I was going through. I also asked for a hug. Another thing that I, I knew that would work, and it's really hard to do when you're in depression, is that I moved my body. And for me, what that looked like was I went grocery shopping. I needed to get out of the house, into the sun, and do something that benefited the household and also got me moving. So I went grocery shopping and honestly, that really helped. I was getting out of my head. And then the third thing that I, I, I have to do when I'm feeling like that is I have to go easy on me. Earlier I mentioned I push myself too hard. I try to pretend it's not happening and that doesn't serve me and, it, and the depression lasts longer. Some of the things I avoid when I'm feeling that depression, the first thing is I, I don't pretend it's not happening. I avoid that. It is happening. Pretending doesn't make it better. It just keeps me stuck longer. Depression is, is it's heavy and it's like moving through molasses when I'm in it. Maybe you can relate to that. Mine is a mild chronic depression. Uh, there is also moderate depression and severe depression. I'm grateful that I don't have either of those. Another thing I avoid doing is trying to figure out why I'm depressed. Some people would argue that if you can figure out why you're depressed, maybe you can backtrack and undo it. And you know, maybe sometimes that's true, but it keeps me stuck in the cycle of doing something wrong or being down on myself. So I try to avoid trying to figure out why it started again. I do the things to get out of it instead. And the third thing I avoid is pushing too hard, trying to do too much because then I get down on myself. Then I start to beat myself up about not doing enough. And my entire life, it's always been about not enough. And I don't do that to myself anymore. So those are the three things I do and the three things I don't do when I'm in a depressive moment. This one lasted about 48 hours. Nothing I can do about them except to try and move through life depressed. And, and I can, a lot of people can't, and I feel for you, my heart goes out to you. I hope this will help the people who end up in that little state of depression and are capable of rolling out of bed and just moving to the next indicated step. Sometimes that's, I get up, I go to the bathroom. After that, I drink a lot of water. Whatever the next indicated step for you is, I hope you can do that today. I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. I thank you for listening, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you'd like to comment on what I've had to share, add your two cents, I'd love to read it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.